Hi everyone, my name is Kaikoon6 and I'm here to do a crafting video for you guys. I finally finished my beehive wreath form project, as you can see the thumbnail of this video. And um, I wanted to like add a few more things to this finished product, but apparently, excuse me, I didn't have um, any type of bee stuff really. Like all I had was like these sunflowers, this other stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm going to like just go with it for the meantime and then hopefully if I ever found like other bee stuff like um, little buttons or stickers or something because that's what I wanted to add to this in the beginning but I couldn't find anything like that and I couldn't find it in any of my stashes so I felt like I'll just um, like show you guys for the meantime the finished product and then um, tell, you, tell you guys um, what I use and then what I did to finish this and then um hopefully in the near future once i do find some other bee stuff like stickers or like maybe little buttons that can glue on this and then it'll be completely done so for the meantime it is done but not completely done but here you go like isn't that really cute hopefully i show it all in frame but yeah this is uh what i came up with um but yeah like i thought i really liked it and and i felt like i'm gonna go with it and i did and it's just exactly what I thought it was like oh like my little bow is about to come off basically I did use a lot of hot glue for this like for this hanger it was a nightmare because like look at that mess behind there I used so much hot glue and then like the the twine that I was using that came with that um with the wooded bead garland which I'll show you guys in a bit like I had to cut it off and then it didn't want it to stick so then I used the the leftovers of the yellow fabric I used for the beehive wreath form to just glue it on the back so and i had like this little strip left so it, it, i just thought it was really funny but yeah that's what it looks like all finished up and, and i'm like well, hopefully in the near future i'll be able to add some bees on it but for the meantime i have like this sunflower uh background on this one everything's like sunflower yellow themed and and beaded uh thing on there so hopefully i'll be able to finish that but anyway i'll just show you guys what i used in the project so like i said before it is a bee, bee high wreath form so here's the tag that came with it the original color to the to the wreath form is like this like yellow greenish golden color type of thing so but um but yeah and it came with like with this tag so there you go uh the next thing i used was like this wooded bead garland that i showed you guys in a previous shopping finds video that i got from hobby lobby and uh, my husband bought this for me. Um, the original price is $5.99, but if you get it 40% off at your uh, local um, Hobby Lobby, you'll be paying uh, $3.59. It's it is, uh, 40 off right now from what I've seen in like online and then in my other stores. And then I used, uh, the next thing I use are fabric. And, um, and I use like this sunflower fabric and then I use like this pretty yellow fabric. Like for this yellow fabric, um, it was or it was like already in my stash, and uh, my mother-in-law gave this to me. Like uh, I think it was like a year or so ago or something. She was cleaning out her stuff, and then she just said that she didn't know what she had in mind for this one. So she was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna give it to you. Hopefully, you'll have fun with it." And I said, "Yeah, sure." And so um, I had this for a while, and I felt like, okay, what could I use for for this beehive? And then I thought this would be really pretty. Um, I wanted to like coffee stained it and or uh, tea stained it but sadly like I'm in Texas and a lot of these bugs get attracted to the scent of food especially with coffee and tea and I felt like no and especially since I live in an area with high humidity it's not going to be good so I'm going to uh, like I just skipped that step like all I did was um, just cut them into strips like this and then uh, wrap it around the re beehive wreath form, and then that was it. And then, um, and then with the sunflower one, of course, as you've seen, uh, like I used it as the background for it, and on, and you already can tell like it's been used, it's been cut. So that's what I did. And then last, I'm going to show you guys the items that I have used, and uh, I didn't use this one, which was just which is a rotary cutter that I got from Dollar Tree. I thought I was going to need it, but not really because I don't have like a cutting mat and i need to go get me one that's for sure but i have used these two tools and um 
like this one is like my fabric scissors and this one's just regular scissors and i forgot to show my fabric scissors in the last video that i mentioned about them and i did apologize in in the description of that video so but yeah but there is a lot of people that don't own fabric scissors but they do own like regular scissors and sometimes it's not like gives you like that clean cut that you would want so they a lot of people will use this rotary cutter and honestly you can use whatever you want as long as you're comfortable with like um how you cut your fabric and stuff like that so yeah that's all the items that i have used for this project and so all i did was in the beginning was i used the i grabbed like the reform i took off the tag and then oh and and the last item you'll need of course is hot glue because who who doesn't like use hot glue nowadays um but um yeah so like i grabbed this wreath form i grabbed like the 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 yellow fabric and i remembered i just laid down this uh yellow fabric and i laid it down on my bed and then like i somehow like measured with my finger like one inch strips and then um started cutting it like that i think i used like five or six strips of those and they were they had like this like this long piece left from this um the strip and then um and then when i was done wrapping it of course i decided like you know what let me just start doing the background on it so all i did was i laid this fat quarter on the table now since like i was trying to work on um trying to see like how am i going to do this wooded beads and stuff so I ended up putting this on my dining table since I thought I had table uh, room on this table right here, but I really don't. And then I did was laid this down flat and then I started doing like glue a little bit by little bit until, you know, I got this and then I cut the, um, the outline of it and then like just placed it down really carefully. And then there you go. And that's how it came out. And then I was like, okay, so now what's next? And I felt like, oh, I'm going to work on the wooded beads. So then I used like my hot glue gun and then I used like my um, wooded beads from this garland. I cut the end off for it and then I just started grabbing like wooded beads and then uh, used the hot glue and then glued wherever like I placed them at. Like I just wanted to put like beads or the beads on like wherever the two uh, like wires were forming or just going together. And that's how it came out and then i wanted to put one in the bottom and one on top and that's what i did and then afterward i was like okay well this looks somewhat done so i was like what else am i gonna do and then so i grabbed uh, some ribbon that i had in my stash over here and i started cutting them into strips and made like a little lazy bow type of thing it has like this pretty like sunflower one they have like this yellow one and then like this other sunflower print but it's like with the dark blue background and then that's all i had and then I used like this type of ribbon to hold it all together and then I um, glued a wooded bead on there and hopefully somewhere in the near future I'll be able to put um, like a bee on here maybe who knows I'll probably like remove this entire bead put a bee on it and then that's it and then I thought okay well I want to have it hung up somewhere in my house so then that's where the wooded bead garland came from and all I did was I cut some of the end off of this uh, bead garland and then use the twine to like um, hold it together and then I started kind of like um, uh, putting the twine in the back of like the 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 wreath form and then I put glue down and then apparently like I kind of like glued it down wrong as you can see it's kind of a little bit crooked but that's fine and then I um, thought okay well this is not going to hold it together because my glue gun decided to like sort of like overheat a bit and I was like oh it's going to take forever to like um to basically bind everything together so i thought well since i had that long strip of fabric of the yellow one like left over all i did was i placed one right here and then another one like that glued it on and then this was left over from that strip and then and then i held everything together and i like how it came out and and that's it like that's how i finished it like i it's the wrapping was the one that took me the longest I'm not gonna lie to you guys i think that took me like about 20 to 30 minutes because i was like okay i thought i had enough strips to um you know to have everything to see if i could wrap around the the wreath form and that did not do that and then um next thing i had to cut more so it just took a little bit longer than i thought and then i felt like oh maybe like four or five strips in the beginning like that's what i thought at least i needed 
for to wrap around the wreath form for this one and no uh, I needed uh, more than that so I ended up cutting more and more and next thing you know I ended up with like maybe six strips and then just that little bit left over and it was just crazy but yeah <laughs> but yeah this is what it looks like I'm gonna show it off to you guys I'm gonna show you guys in the back what it looks like too like in the in the fabric like there's nothing in the back it's just like transparent but but yeah that's how it came out and i love how it came out honestly i can't wait to like um add bees on there or some other stuff in the near future and then hopefully um see what else i can do like you know to finish this or you know just to add a little bit here and there because sometimes off camera i have other ideas and then i'm just like oh i need to go add it on here and then i never update you guys to see like what i did with the projects and stuff like that and and i felt like i need to actually do that <laughs> like start updating or um telling you guys like yeah i have this idea and then i add it on there and then I, I need to like show it off or if not i had to do like an updated um post so that way you guys will know what i did so anyway i'm gonna end the video here i need to go clean up i need to uh clean up the the floors too because while well, i was trying to like cut the fabric so i could like you know uh place the background like this uh, sunflower on the background of the wreath form like i had like all this um frayed edges of the fabric just coming off and then of course the the frayed edges of the twine also from the garland and it just went all over me and then went all over the floor and then i have a fan in the background i don't know if you guys uh hear that in in the video but it, it got really hot and just and the wind the well the um, the air that's coming from like the the fan that i have in here is just it blew like all this um frayed fabric twine stuff all over my face and then like it got some in my hair it's just i've been trying to clean up ever since so anyway i'm gonna go clean up now i'm gonna ramble on and then hopefully start updating some other stuff um maybe i'll make a shopping finds video next week too because um i have been have i've been shopping like almost every week and i have some stuff that i need to show you guys what i found and hopefully you guys like it anyway so i'm gonna let you go now so hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and i'll see you guys next week all right bye everyone